Hi guys, um, I'm going to do a video that was requested like, I don't know, yesterday or the day before just because it's one of the ones that was kind of on my list of ones to do and because it was requested again I just thought, do you know what, let's just do it. So I've got loads of perfumes and that's just because I'm one of these people that I used to be in the habit of buying them like all the time and then I just kind of built them up and then I kind of got put off them and then I went back to them and you know and then I bought duplicates if they were on sale and I'm one of those, I'm one of those people. Um, so I'm going to not do them in any particular order, I'm just going to grab them as I go and I'm going to tell you basically what I think of them and if I'd buy them again. Um, so, first one, Viva La Juicy. Um, I like it but I don't think I would buy it again. Because I kind of fell into the trap of thinking the first Juicy Couture perfume was amazing and I loved it. So I kind of fell into the trap of thinking the second one would be just as good. And I like it, but like I said, I don't think I'd buy it again. I, I can't describe the smell, so just go and smell it. But it's it's very kind of girly and, yeah, it's just kind of very, very feminine and very, very girly. And that's all I can really say about it. So, the next one is actually one that I bought in the body shop, which I actually really like. Um, God, it doesn't even have a name. It just says, the body shop, love, etc. I think it was one that I bought because they were doing something for charity. And if you bought the perfume, then the money was going to charity. But it's just from the body shop and it's in a little bottle like that. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a apple juice sort of colour. And... Again, it's one of those ones I would use, I'd put it in my handbag to use if I go out and I feel a bit like whiffy or something. So I'm going to put that away. Um, the next one I have is by Kate Moss and it's called Velvet Hour. Um, as you can see, the fact that it's quite full just means I haven't really delved into it that much. But I got like a sample from um, somewhere where I bought some perfume and it's kind of like a, it's an evening smell. I would definitely say it's not something I would wear in the daytime because I think it's quite seductive like if that's the right word to use so it's not something I would use in the daytime but I would definitely definitely use this in the evening and I probably would repurchase it if I actually used it up but I've got just so many others that I'd rather use every day that just tend to go a bit quicker um, the next one which is one of my all time favourites is Ralph Lauren Romance it's kind of girly but in my opinion like girly but not like overly sweet like and it's got like a different kind of scent to it, kind of like the Juicy original, which is why I like it. It's kind of got one of those really distinct smells to it, where you can just smell it and recognise it a mile off, and that's why I really like it. So that's, that is one of my favourite perfumes. The next one is Gucci Envy. Um, I kind of bought this on a whim. Um, I was at the airport and I just felt like, oh my god, you're at the airport and you haven't bought perfume. So I just went into the duty free when I got on holiday and I was like, okay, I'm just going to buy something that I haven't got. It's really, really nice actually. And obviously you can tell it's all the way down there. Um, I probably would repurchase this again. Again, it's a, it's a girly kind of fresh smell. And so it's nice to kind of have on every day. So I probably use it on a, on a daily kind of basis. Um, the next one I have is a really, really old, old perfume that actually... I think my mum used to wear it when she was kind of my age, so I always like grew up with her smelling like it, and it was just one of those things that I just thought, well, I want to smell like that when I'm older, so I kind of kept buying it, and it's just called Exclamation. It's like a really cheap thing that I got from just like, I don't know, a random drugstore high street place, but it just kind of reminds me of my mum, so that's why I bought that one. So... Um, to be honest, I might never actually finish the bottle because it's been there for so long. It probably doesn't even smell right, but I'd keep it anyway. Um, the next one I've got is by Valentino. And I, I don't know what the name is, but it's the Rock and Rose Couture Collection. I've actually got two of these. And um, they're both really, really yummy. They just say Rock and Rose Valentino. But they haven't got names on them. One's just like the one with the pink lid and one's the one. But this is, again, like an evening-y type smell. And this is one that I would say you can use during the day if you want to. I'm just going to put them away like as I go. Um, this is another one I got from the body shop. Um, I really like these ones. These are kind of like, again, 
if I'm going shopping or running an errand and I need something to spray just to smell fresh and nice, then I would go with this. It's called Moroccan Rose and it's from the Body Shop. I really do like quite a lot of the Body Shop ones because they've got another one called Neroli Jasmine, which I think I finished. But I also bought the body spray because I just thought it was like really yummy. And I use that kind of for work, so again, on a daily basis. And this is just really nice, fresh everyday kind of thing that you can use um my next kind of two all-time longest running perfumes are ck1 and ckb in my opinion this is the more manly scent so i probably wouldn't buy this one again but it was one of those ones i used to buy quite a lot when i was younger in my teens and i guess i tried to impress boys just by using like unisex aftershave but actually i'd have to say the ck1 is probably my favorite one because this is like i don't know i just keep getting through like bottles and bottles of this stuff because I just absolutely love it especially for the summer and um, so that one probably wouldn't repurchase because it's one of those smells that I've probably grown out of this one I would definitely keep repurchasing because it is one of my favorite perfumes in the world um, the next one is again something that just reminds me of when I was younger but I probably wouldn't keep buying it now and that's um Tommy Girl I think every single girl I know has like a bottle of one of these like stashed away somewhere. So Tommy Girl, those are kind of my older type perfumes. The other one I really like is this Lacoste Women one that comes in like this little bottle here. It's just a really sporty kind of clean smell, which I really like. So again, I would get through loads of bottles of this. Um, this is a perfume, I don't even want to show you this one. Um, this is a perfume bottle that actually an ex-boyfriend got me and I got it years ago and this is the reason that I don't use it look watch hang on okay because oh, it's disgusting I just never wanted to say that to him and he was quite excited when he bought it for me oh, oh, oh. It's disgusting, like I wouldn't even use this as air freshener because it smells that bad. It smells like fairy liquid. Why would you want to put fairy liquid on yourself? So it's actually, and I really don't want to cuss her, but it's basically Katie Price's. I think it was the first one she came out with and it's absolutely abysmal. Like it's shockingly bad. Like, like, I don't know, but it's just nasty. So I don't want to offend anyone, but... I've probably offended like a good few people, but it's disgusting. Um, my next favourite one that again I've had running with me for years and I've got about three bottles is Intimately Beckham. And obviously it's the female version. Intimately Beckham, that is Victoria Beckham. <coughs> and it's just a really nice, girly, sweet, eveningy smell. Again, I wouldn't wear this too much in the day because I think it's too nice to use in the day. Um, another one is YSL Parisian. You can see from like all of mine, they're all like finished because... I just get through them so quickly. Uh, YSL Parisian. Um, I got this at the airport when it first came out because it was like buy a body lotion and the larger size one of this for like 50 quid. And I was like, how can I not get that? It's a bargain. Um, next one is Jennifer Lopez is Glow. And I had the next one of hers as well. I can't remember what it was called, but I had the second one of hers. I really like Glow. Again, it's one of those smells that I would recognise like in an instant because it's just got a really different kind of smell to it. But again, it's quite sweet. It's quite feminine, but it's unusual. I think it's one of those you either will like it or you really won't like it kind of smells. Uh, another one of my favourites, Coco Mademoiselle by um, Chanel. Oh my God. Definitely an evening one. I just, oh, it's just so, it's a mature kind of smell. So again, I would use this in the evenings. I wouldn't use this on a daily basis. And it's so, every spray is worth like five quid. So I'm like, <laughs> save with the spray. So um, I don't use it that often because it's just expensive, but it is one of my favorite ones. Um, I have, do you know what? In my video where I did my x I said I didn't have a spare Juicy. I've got an original Juicy. I must have bought a backup without realizing I'd done it and I had it stashed away somewhere. So original Juicy is back. This is one of my favorite ones. This I get complimented on the most. Um, and that's because as an optician, I have to get really close to people. And this is definitely the one I get the most compliments on from the patient. And I also bought my boyfriend's sister and his mum the same perfume because they both said in the same day, it smells really nice. Like, can you, so I just bought it for them for Christmas. Um, Miss Dior Cherie, this is just the best thing ever. It's feminine it's girly it's not overpowering and it's just really nice lingering kind of smell. if you haven't 
tried this it's one that i think every guru talks about and every makeup person on youtube talks about and that's the reason i ended up buying it and i can totally see why everyone raves about this it's just so it's so feminine and just such a again it's one of those mature girly feminine kind of i'd say evening smells again because i just think it's really nice this please don't laugh at the state of this but this is my chloe one and all the tops gone all like dark and discoloring but um, this is Chloe, I think it's the original Chloe one. And again, I've got back up, it's the one that has a little bow on the top. <coughs> and again, really, really yummy, really like this one. Again, I'd probably say this one I would kind of use if I was going on like a date or something. Again, this is, it's a special one, it's not like a seductive one, but it, it could kind of be to some people. But I would definitely wouldn't waste this for like during the everyday and stuff. Um, my Ralph Lauren Blue is one that I would use every day. Um, it's one that I kind of got a bit overexcited about when it came out and I ended up buying like loads of them and now I'm kind of sick of the smell. So I would kind of use it every day for like, you know, just to kind of use it up a little bit or use it as air freshener in my car because it's got a really sweet smell. A lot of people really like it. But like I said, because I kind of rinsed it when it came out, I was like, no, 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 it makes me feel sick. Um, I'm not going to spray it in case I do the whole gagging thing again. But that is, it is nice, but like I said, I think I just, I think I just went a bit crazy with it when I was younger and now I really don't think it's that great. It's just too sweet for me. Um, another one of my favourites is Burberry Weekend. Um, this is another one of those very distinct kind of smells. Kind of sporty, kind of like the Lacoste smell in, in terms of like what kind of scent it has. Kind of like Lacoste, girly, sporty. And something I would probably use, yeah, like occasionally if I felt like just changing it up. But it's not something I'd reach for every day. And it's not something I would wear on like a date. Because if I was going to go on a date, I'd use Miss Dior Cherie, my Chanel. Or I'd use um, my YSL Parisian. I'd use something like a little bit more kind of special. Um, and the last one I have, and please don't ask me why I've got this one. This was a present from my uncle. I don't know why he bought me and my sister perfumes. I can't remember if it's a random Christmas present or he just came round and gave them to us. Um, but she basically got first picks because she was there when he bought them round. And I don't think he realised, but he bought one for men and one for women. So my sister took the women's one and now I'm left with like a men's aftershave. Which, to be honest, I'd still pull off. I'd still wear it because, you know, I just think... Yeah, it might be a little bit, be delicious men. So now I'm like, okay, like I have used it a couple of times, but I think it's quite a boyish kind of smell, but I've got no shame in using it at work just because it's still a nice smell. It's just a bit more masculine. So those are, oh wait, hang on, one more, one more. I don't know why I've got this. I, don't, I think I nicked it from my sister, so I really hope she doesn't watch this video. Um, But this is a Versace one which I think came in a gift set, so it's not like I went out and bought it. And I don't even think, I, I don't even think we paid for it. I think it was like a present for my sister. And I went into her room and I saw it and I just nabbed it. So, you know, she hasn't missed it for like a year. She's not going to miss it now. Um, It's just got a really, it's kind of like, a, again, one of those kind of mature sort of evening smells. I mean, something that I think my mum would really like. But yeah, it's still quite feminine. So... Those are my perfumes. I won't show you like the drawer where I keep them all because I've got all my backups in there. Um, but that's, like I said, I've got quite a lot that I use for different things. And sometimes I just forget that I've got the ones that I've got and then I forget to kind of change it up. So those are my perfumes. I don't think I missed any of them out. Um, so thank you very much for watching. And if you have any requests, leave them below.